Hey Virgo, this is the first time I'm rising Venus, I'm Crystal. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And welcome to all of my other subscribers. So we are going to find out, well, we're going to do a love reading, okay? You have separation, children, release your ex. So some of you guys are walking away or still connected to somebody from your past, maybe because of children, okay? Or somebody from your past is separated from you because of children, okay? This is somebody that doesn't really like to deal with things. I feel like this is, they might be like avoiding your conversation or avoiding an important conversation. It's like this person never wants to deal with anything. It's always like, not today, not today, you know? I do feel like, um, it's almost as if I feel like I'm talking about two different people for some reason, but karmic relationship. Wow. So yeah, you guys might be dealing with a lot of depression, sadness, or have dealt with it. If you guys are still in contact with this person, um, or still together with this person, um, the separation card says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you may be walking away from this person because they're too toxic for you. I feel like you've learned the lessons, the lesson, five of pentacles, abandonment. This person made you feel like you were not, you know, important. This person could have acted as if you didn't like matter. This person could have brought a lot of money issues. Well, maybe something to do with your car because that car's like squeaking. You have the devil clarifying this karmic relationship. Spirit's saying to let go because some of you guys may be holding on to this person because you have got children together or <clears throat> maybe they're suffering from childhood trauma and you want to be the one to save them. I feel like you've tried, but for the five of pentacles and the devil and the knight of swords too as well to be clarifying that the karmic relationship, this is a very, very toxic relationship that made you feel alone. So what are you planning? What is what are you planning on doing? The nine of cups. I feel like you're feeling more good about yourself, more better about yourself, um, more confidence. There you go. And with the four of swords, I feel like you've been staying away from this person. Even if you live with them, like you may sleep in separate rooms from this person, or you may kind of, you know, just I feel like you feel alone regardless. So why not be alone, right? I do feel like maybe you don't even really speak to this person that much anymore. But the Nine of Cups, I do feel like you realize that you, you know, Four of Swords and Nine of Cups, you're taking your energy back and you're focusing on you. You're disconnecting from this person. You're trying to separate yourself from them. The Moon, this may be a secret. Maybe they don't even know this is what you want to do. I heard you threaten them. So you could have threatened them before that you were going to leave and then never left. And then, you know, now it's like you may be serious and they still don't believe you. It could be something like that. You may also feel like this person has too many secrets. They could have really made you feel insecure or um, alone. They could have kept you literally away from everybody. They could have even, with the Five of Pentacles, blocked your money in some type of way. They could even, I heard, started problems at your job. So this person could have literally started problems at your job. The Seven of Wands. There is a lot of negative cards on here. Like, this person's very defensive. Okay, very protective over themselves, very territorial. Like, you may feel like you're always backed in a corner from this person. This person could literally, with the Knight of Swords, have an anger issue. They may even, like, threaten you or make you feel threatened. Like, they could even put their hands on you at one point in time. Now, if this is not your story, this is not your story. Not every story is going to resonate for all Virgos, right? But if it's your story, I do feel like you guys are getting your strength back. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords. This is like the end of the end. I feel like this is, you guys are just done, right? The Nine of Cups, you want your happiness. It's the only thing, you. You're the only good cards over here. I do feel like through this, you know, alone time, through this solitary time, even if you were with this person, it's like you felt alone. I feel like you realized that you don't need anyone. All you need is yourself, right? So I feel like you're picking yourself back up. And with the Ten of Swords, I feel like you might be walking away from this person. 
clarifying the separation, the Knight of Swords, this could be something that's happening fast, or you're very focused and confident. And it's like you are ready to kind of like seize the moment. You have the Ten of Swords again. Yeah, this is the end. This is the end. Like, I feel like there's too much pain. There's too much hurt. There's too much trauma in the past. Okay, this could even be things that you have not even done to cause this. I feel like this person has a lot of secrets, bad inner thoughts. Like, <clears throat> I do feel like they need some healing. But it's like every time I feel like with the Knight of Wands, this person can go from like, you know, really, really good, really, really nice to all of a sudden like switching up and then becoming a different person. It's like this person may even have negative energies attached to them. Your house could literally be haunted because of this person. Like literally, they could be making their own freaking negative energies just so you know that can happen. Um, they are, this person has a dark energy, okay? Like I said, if this resonates for you, then okay but what's going to happen when you walk away for you king of pentacles success reliability you know this is about um growth and stability and building an empire and being stable and feeling just He's got his glasses on. He's all dressed fancy. You know, I feel like it's like you guys are going to feel real good. Okay. The Empress too as well with the King of Pentacles. It's like you get your power back. It's like you get your life back. Okay. I don't know why I said your life. I didn't even mean to say that. I meant to say you get like, I guess your life back then. <laughs> but it's like a sense of freedom, you know, and I feel like your money is going to start flowing. Um, maybe with the Empress and the King of Pentacles, you're trying to create a business for yourself or save up for like a home or whatever this is with the Empress. I feel like your mind is going to start flowing with like new ideas, creative new ideas, maybe even business ideas. Like I feel like your life is going to take off right? In a good way, in a positive way. You have the devil. This is about being like focused and putting all the work in and just like not giving up. You know what I mean? You may also be tempted to go back to this person. Maybe not you, but maybe this person may keep on trying. I think you, the empress and the devil, you're like, nope, she's looking the other way. You know, she's like, nope, not this time. Nope. I feel good in my power. I'm not going back to that. <laughs> Too much um, trauma. The Ten of Cups, you want happily ever after, right? You don't want this stuckness and feeling like you can't be you. That's what I feel, okay? So the Ten of Cups, the Empress, the Devil, all the work that you do, it's like you're... It's like a dog that gets let out of his cage, I swear to God. Like after like 20 years, it's been living its whole entire life in the cage or 10, whatever, um, <laughs> I don't know how dogs live, how, how long they live, but anyway, it's like getting let out the cage and then like just going fucking crazy and just being able to do everything that you wanted to do, being able to run, climb trees, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know, but with the temperance card, there's healing coming in. There's, there's, you know, a, a feeling of like tranquility, peace, harmony, like your life feels like it's just, you could breathe, right? You can move in this direction and not have to worry about things. You can move in that direction. Anything that you want to do, it's like you're freeing yourself of this. You got one, two, three major arcanas with the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles for what's coming in when you do walk away from this toxic person. Now, also, even though this is a love reading, karmic relationship, this could be with friends. This could be with family. This could be your boss, whoever this is. It's like, or whatever this is. It was a lot of lessons, and I feel like you've learned enough. And it's like you're letting go, you're moving on. And it's like you can love this person from a distance, right? I don't feel like you hate this person. Maybe you do, but I don't feel like you wish the worst for this person. I feel like you just want to be free and let go and live the rest of your life like the way that you want to, right? The Page of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys may be feeling like, you know, not really optimistic, right? You, you might have like negative thoughts about the future, maybe just because you've dealt with such darkness for so long, right? With the page of wands in reverse and the page of swords upright, I feel like you guys are going to kind of be like detectives. It's like not everybody's going to be able to come into your space. You know, lovers, friends, family, 
It doesn't matter. It's like you're going to be very, uh, you're very intuitive. And I feel like um, you also may have a little bit of your walls up now, but, you know, <laughs> I'm looking at those cards. Like you could see into people's souls. You guys literally might be like freaking energy readers, you know, or, or you might be able to see people's auras or just feel a toxic person when you see one or just know a person's good when you meet them. Like within the first few seconds, I feel like you guys just right away, it's like you could tell if you're going to like this person or not. I feel like you really need to listen to that. Okay. I feel like you do, but I feel like this person, whoever this is, got away with a lot of, too much shit. And it's like, maybe you have your walls extra high now, you know? The judgment card is I'm saying that. Yeah. Being very picky. You guys will be very picky about the next person that you choose. Very picky. But that's a good thing. That's never a bad thing because the more picky you are, you are it, it's like, you know, you're weeding out the ones that, that are not going to give you what it is that you need. So you'll lead yourself to the right one. So I want to see... Who else is going to come in for you? Okay. I do feel like your money is going to get better and things like this too as well. The stability of things. Your energy is going to feel better. Some of you guys need to sage, I heard. So open the windows, move some furniture around, like light some candles, you know, say a prayer, sage. But when you sage, make sure the windows are open so that energy can get out. That negative stagnant energy. If you move into a new home, same thing. The Ten of Cups. So there is an opportunity for a happily ever after for you, even if you guys don't believe it. There is, okay? Ten of Cups is happily ever after, marriage, fairy tale ending. You have the Ten of Wands. You have the Two of Cups. The Ten of Wands is like putting burdens and all the extra shit, like, down anything that's irrelevant in your life needs to be moved out the way okay with the ten of wands i do feel like um you might not even be focused on love so it's like you might be going through like a whole bunch of shit right and then it's like boom you meet this person and then like your your mind changes with the two of cups this is somebody that you could be very compatible with this is going to be somebody that you can um connect to on a deeper level Okay, the King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. This is something that can work out. This could be this. Ugh, this, <laughs> this could be a very strong love. Okay, a very very strong love. This is going to be somebody who's devoted, right? And I feel like that's what you're searching for. You're searching for somebody who's going to be devoted to you and give you their all, like you would give to them, right? So. With the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like you guys, um, you're going to be very dedicated to each other. You're not going to give up when you meet this person. There's going to be the, how are you going to feel right when you meet the person? The Sun and the King of Swords. Yeah, I kind of felt that. I was going to say, when you first meet this person, it's, going, it's not going to be like love at first sight, but there's going to be this recognition. Okay, it could be a soulmate recognition. That like, okay, wow, this person seems so similar to me, you know, um, or so similar. I do feel like it's going to be like right away you may notice there's something different about this person that you want to get to know more of, right? This person, you got a lot of good cards here. The only thing I see is the Ten of Cups, and I kind of feel like that's just you having too much on your plate. And, but at the same time, surrounded by the two of cups and the 10 of cups, it's like this person's going to help with that in some type of way or release some type of stress or the connection that you guys have is going to make you feel a little bit more happier, brighter, lighter. And, you know, it's just going to feel a lot better. I feel like this person's going to help you overcome a lot of things that you were currently going through, especially emotionally. Okay. This person's going to make you very happy. Of course. You know, there's going to be issues in every relationship that you go into. Nothing is going to be perfect. But um, I see a lot of good. I feel like this is going to start out really, really good. You have the tower. Right away, you're going to notice something. I'm telling you, this is an epiphany. This is like a sudden change. Like this person is going to be different than what you're used to. And then the three of cups. So many cups. 
So many cups. Happiness, celebrations, reunions, togetherness, you know? The Seven of Pentacles and the Moon. I do feel like you guys are going to be so many... Like, the connection is going to grow really fast. And the thing is, you might catch yourself taking a step back and, like, trying to reevaluate everything. Like, maybe you may feel like, um, you know, am I going crazy? Am I feeling too fast? Like, you may... I, I see you kind of taking a step back, right? But I do feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you guys are going to build a very strong bond, you know? With the moon, this could be about insecurities. Or maybe you guys are going to feel like, you know this isn't real, but I feel like you just need to go with the flow and see where it takes you because I feel like you guys are going to be very happy at the end. Okay. So this is what I got for you. Um, we could do a timing. I'll put all the cards back and do a timing. So That was not a good shuffle. I just seen the chariot, so it could be cancer time. Seven of swords, seven days, and the chariot again, cancer season, okay? Um, that's the middle of June to the middle of July. Um, and the seven of swords, I feel like it's you're not even going to see it coming, okay? This could be like a surprise to you, a shock to you, okay? This is for timing, so I don't really care what the card means, but um, so you don't have to worry about the seven of swords, right? But yeah, and then the two of pentacles. I feel like this is, you're going to have a choice here, especially if you're still dealing with this karmic person, you know? So there's going to be a choice that you're going to have to make. But I do feel like around cancer time, you know, things are going to start uh, smoothing out. Seven days to cancer. All right, so take care. Have a good day. If it resonates, please like and subscribe if you want. And take care. Cheers.